Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today we are going to talk about one of the important uh, cycle uh, pathway in the biochemistry uh, which is called as Cori cycle. Uh, this Cori cycle, if you will say, this is also known as lactic acid cycle. And uh, we know that uh, we are having different metabolic processes, metabolic pathway in our body. One of the important metabolic pathway or the basic simplest metabolic pathway is glycolysis which occurs during the aerobic condition also and in aerobic condition also means in the presence of oxygen also in the absence of oxygen also the end product of glycolysis is different uh, whenever it is going to be occurred in the presence of oxygen the end product is pyruvic acid uh, when we don't have oxygen whenever we are having a deficiency of oxygen or hypoxic conditions the end products going to be lactic acid or lactate and the lactic acid is a dead end product, dead product of the glycolysis. Since it must be so that uh, so we cannot use its lactic acid at all in our body. So this pathway is going to uh, associate, going to be linked with the lactic acid or, or uh, only. So uh, the Cori cycle, also known as lactic acid cycle. So we will see the basic pathway. What is the, the Cori cycle? Uh, this Cori cycle, uh, which is also known as lactic acid cycle, is a crucial metabolic pathway in our body, as you are going to see in this pathway, this uh, picture, uh, which occurs between the liver and the muscle. So the two important organs uh, are going to be connected through the blood, and these two important organs are going to participate in this pathway. It plays a significant role in the conversion of lactic acid uh, to the glucose uh, between the liver and the muscles. How it is going to happen, how it is going to be regulated, that we will know. Uh, so, this allow the body to maintain the energy level during the period of high energy demand. This cycle normally involves the interconversion of the lactic acid and pyruvic acid between the muscle and the liver. So, during the intense physical activity, uh, if you will see, uh, so this is called as lact uh, lactic acid cycle also, it is a metabolic pathway that plays a crucial role in the conversion of lactic acid to glucose. And uh, this process occurs lactic acid, which is going to be produced by anaerobic glycolysis. I have told you in the muscles, whenever we don't have oxygen, the glucose is going to be converted into lactic acid. So, lactic acid will be the end product in case of in absence of oxygen. And lactic acid is a dead end product because it is not further going to be utilized at all places. So, this lactic acid is transported to the liver. As you are going to see, lactic acid will be transferred to the, uh, through blood circulation to the liver, and there it is converted back to the glucose through gluconeogenesis process. So, at this in the muscles, we are having anaerobic glycolysis where lactic acid is the end product. This lactic acid is transferred to the liver where we are having gluconeogenesis process, and this glucose, uh, which liver is going to produce, again transfer it back to the muscle for the reutilization. So, this is a cyclic pathway which involves the liver and the muscles. What is the exactly process? There are three important processes which are going to uh, link this uh, Cori cycle. So, first process is glycolysis in the muscles. So, during the uh, this uh, normally this uh, other intense exercise, muscle produces lactic acid from the glucose. Uh, not only the intense exercise, uh, in, in case of in the condition of when we don't have sufficient oxygen also. Uh, so, this process results in the production of pyruvic acid which further converted into lactic acid under, under the anaerobic condition. So, first this is the first part. Second part is the lactic acid which is going to be produced. It will be transported back to the liver. So, the lactic acid produced in the muscle cells uh, uh, is released into the blood circulations and then it will be transferred carried to, up to the liver. Here, the liver plays a very significant role uh, in the Cori cycle by converting this lactic acid back to the pyruvic acid through the process of gluconeogenesis. Uh, this step normally requires uh, ATP also and results in the production of glucose. This glucose which lactic acid trans after the transportation, uh, so gluconeogenesis occurs into the liver and then glucose will be transferred back to the muscle. So the first is glycolysis in the muscles, there uh, pyruvic uh, lactic acid production will be there. Second is lactic acid transportation into the liver. And third is the gluconeogenesis in the liver. Then this glucose will be transferred uh, to the muscle cells. So glucose uptake by the muscle cells. That is the third part. So as you are going to see here, 
we are having anaerobic glyco uh, glycolysis where glucose converted to the lactic acid lactic acid will be because it is a dead end so it will be transported to the liver liver having gluconeogenesis process it converted to the glucose and then this glucose will be again transferred to the muscles so this is a overall a cyclic process which occurs in our body so this is called as co-recycle in this case if you will see the what is the role of liver in the uh, co-recycle so uh, Three, uh, we can see three important processes. First is gluconeogenesis because the liver normally convert this lactic acid into the glucose. So this is the first and most important role of liver into the core cycle. Second important part is uh, lactate utilization. It meant uh, it utilizes all the lactic acid. So lactic acid is not going to be accumulate in our liver or in our body. And the third important thing is it regulates the maintain the blood sugar level. Because whenever we are going to be uh, hypoglycemic, so this liver which produces the glucose and this glucose comes to the blood circulation, so it men helps in the maintenance of the glucose level up to the normal. So liver maintains our glucose homeostasis by regulating uh, or controlling the release and storage of glucose. Especially during the core uh, cycle, the liver adjusts the rate of gluconeogenesis and glycolysis to stabilize or maintain the homeostasis of the blood sugar level. It ensures uh, the body has a constant supply of glucose so these are the three important uh, points uh, which liver is playing in the core cycle and third one was conversion uh, conversion of uh, lactic acid or lactic utilizations because lactic acid is a dead end product so it has to be utilized now what is the role of muscle in the core cycle uh, muscle again uh, three important we will see in the three important points first muscle takes up the glucose from the blood during the period of high activity then uh, glucose is converted to the lactic acid in muscle during the anaerobic respiration so that the muscle will get energy and then uh, lactic acid is going to be released into the blood circulation and transported to the liver for gluconeogenesis process so uh, first muscle uses glucose for energy production first second it is regulates the metabolic processes and third lactic acid uh, removal from the muscles now what is the importance of uh, core cycle uh, in the energy metabolic process and metabolism first one is glucose homeostasis uh, so core cycle normally plays a significant crucial role in the maintenance of the glucose balance in our body during the intense exercise or a period of fasting a skeletal muscles produces lactic acid which is then transported to the liver uh, within the liver lactic acid is converted back to the glucose providing the essential source of energy Second important point is energy productions. Uh, through this core cycle, the body is able to sustain energy production during the prolonged physical activity also. Uh, this process ensures that glucose is rarely uh, every time available to the muscles, uh, allowing to the con continuation of exercise and preventing premature fattiness. And the third and important thing is muscle function. So it enables active muscle to continue functioning in long duration because it consumes the lactic acid and provides them glucose so it helps in the uh, provide the flexibility to the muscles there are a number of disorders you may see uh, which is associated with the co uh, core cycle uh, so if you'll see uh, we are having glycogen storage disease uh, then we are having the hypoglycemia we are having the lactic acidosis so these are the three important things other than that was there are a number of other diseases also which is associated with the core cycle one is core disease that core disease is a part of glycogen storage disease type 3 and it is a rare hereditary conditions uh, which inhibits the body's ability to uh, breaking down glycogen to glucose second important disease associated with the core cycle is macarle disease that is also glycogen storage disease type 4 which is a rare hereditary element that affects the degradation of glycogen and then we are having lactic acidosis already written there uh, this is the lactic acid it is a disorder which involves normally the lactic acid accumulation in our body it can be results from a number of causes including uh, reduced oxygen transportation mitochondrial malfunctions and number of other things and last one is hypoglycemia so these are the different disorder which is associated with the then uh, what is the correlation of the core cycle and the exercise so uh, normally core cycle is having very significant uh, role in the athletic performance because uh, in the athletic uh, they are normally going to uh, use the muscles for their activity and muscle normally 
consumes glucose converted in them into the lactic acid because anaerobically and so if the query cycle will does not work the lactic acid accumulates and that will give the fatigueness so uh, in the athletic for more performance this query cycle has a playing very significant role then uh, muscle fatigueness and recovery Under understanding the query cycle is essential for managing lactic acid build up and optimizing muscle recovery after the strenuous physical activity and endurance uh, sports and the energy maintenance so if we'll, then if, lastly if we'll see the query cycle in the glucose metabolic processes so uh, glucose utilization is going to be happen glucose is a primary source of our uh, energy in our body uh, uh, so glucose metabolism refers to the presence uh, process of the breaking down of glucose for energy production purposes only in the context of query cycle glucose metabolism involves the utilization of glucose by muscles and its subsequent conversion to the lactic acid which is then transported to the liver for further processing then metabolic pathways through the uh, many many pathways are there glycolysis is the main pathway and the last one is the liver's role so liver takes those lactic acid and convert them into the glucose now how this uh, lactic uh, means uh, query cycle is going to be regulated what is the regulation of query cycle so query cycle is regulated by few important points like uh, it is going to be one of the important point is intensity or of stress the rate at which the lactic acid is going to be generated and the need for glucose depends on how much stress we put on the during physical activity so if too much lactic acid is going to be produced in that speed normally we need to convert them into the glucose increased stress also uh, raises the lactic acid generation and requirement of glucose hence there is an increase in the rate of query cycle during the stress condition also second important point is in the presence of certain hormones like insulin glucagon adrenaline which increases the glucose availability absorption of glucose to the liver and the muscles depends on hormones so that is the second important point third point is the availability of oxygen the query cycle is induced only in the absence of oxygen because whenever oxygen will be there the end product will be pyruvic acid not the lactic acid and the last point is uh, nutritional levels a low carbohydrate or a high fat diet disrupt the query cycle whereas the high fat carbohydrate diet induces it now what is the purpose of this query cycle in our body so uh, it is needed when the oxygen supply in cells is very insufficient when oxygen deficiency will be there so that end product will be lactic acid so it occurs during the intense muscular activity also uh, like a sprinting weight lifting and other activity where muscles are going to be used uh, very much it prevent the lactic acid accumulation in the muscles so that the fatigueness will be decrease and in per, uh, performance will be increased the query cycle thus helps in the prolonged muscle activity converting lactic acid back to the glucose and the liver plays a significant role in the preventing hypoglycemia because liver convert them into the glucose and glucose comes into blood circulation so hypoglycemia is going to be managed by liver by this process the query cycle thus ensures a continuous supply of glucose to the muscles so that which does not lead to the dizziness weakness and other adverse effects so this is the purpose of query cycle in our body now last part is conclusion and the future research directions uh, the query cycle is fundament uh, is a fundamental concept uh, in energy metabolic process and future research is essential for uncovering potential therapeutic target and understanding the implication of various health conditions uh, future uh, research directions should focus on the understanding the molecular mechanism that regulates this query cycle plus also we can uh, put our efforts on the identifying potential therapeutic target for metabolic disorders associated with this its dysfunction and exploring its implication uh, in endurance training and the athletic performances so uh, this is overall for today hope you have understand it uh, if you have any query any comments related to either query cycle or any other things uh, you can write in the comment box uh, certainly i will try to answer all those uh, questions raised by you if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you have uh, like the video you can press the like button thank you very much have a nice day